Now, your most accurate forecast from the First Coast News Weather Team, sponsored by AC Designs. Hurricane Lee is a Category 2 hurricane as of the 11 o'clock advisory, but it is going through an eyewall replacement cycle, so it has slightly weakened. It is going to strengthen again back into a Category 4 hurricane, and again, it is still going to turn to the north, and it will stay to the east of us, to the east of Florida and Georgia. Here's a look at what models are suspecting it may do. Some models make it have landfall right around the New York area, so the northeast has to watch out for this. This is the European model. The GFS model, the American model, has it making landfall near Nova Scotia. So again, it's not a direct threat to us here along the first coast, but what it is going to do is it's going to bring some big waves our direction, and it's also going to bring a rip current risk, a high rip current risk across the first coast all the way through next week. So be aware of that if you have any beach or boat plans. Now, Lee is not the only storm that we are watching. We also have Margo, which is a tropical storm. It is expected to strengthen into a category one hurricane, but it will stay a fish storm. So back here at home today, we reached a high of 90 degrees at the airport, 91 in Mayport. Some of you stayed in the 80s. Now we're dropping out of the 80s down into the 70s. Radar is nice and quiet. We had some rain earlier and that actually might lead to some fog tomorrow morning. The spots that saw uh, rain earlier today. So tomorrow morning lows will mainly be in the 70s, right around 72 degrees at the airport. And again, we could be dealing with some areas of fog, patchy fog possible as we head into our early Sunday morning. So keep that in mind if you are heading out the door early around seven o'clock, still some fog possible out there. Then tomorrow afternoon up to 91 degrees and we'll be dealing with some scattered storms yet again. I'm going with about a 50% coverage of storms tomorrow. So in the afternoon hours, we'll see more showers and thunderstorms develop. Develop. I think it will be particularly along the I-95 corridor. That's where your rain chances are higher. We could continue to see that throughout the evening hours and then rain chances. They'll stay in the forecast, but they drop some as we head into the middle of the work week. They bump up again on Thursday with our next front. That's what's keeping Hurricane Lee to our east, by the way. But look at that. Temperatures then drop into the 80s on Thursday. 88 is our average high temperature for this time of year, and they'll go below that as we head into the weekend. Slightly cooler than normal temperatures in the middle 80s.